cochlear implant, this is the implant we are going to use, uh, is the only known device to restore hearing among the deaf population. The only FDA approved way to restore hearing in children. The cochlear implant consists of two parts. The internal part, which is the implanted part, which is my role as a surgeon. I am the father of Daniel, who is a patient uh, currently undergoing treatment in uh, Aga Khan. And uh, our journey began about, began about uh, two years ago, when he was uh, two years old. So we were concerned for our son. He was unable to speak and we were not quite sure what the problem was. So we, we took him to an ENT specialist here in Aga Khan and uh, we initially thought that he might have ADHD or he might have uh, another issue that was impeding his speech. And we never thought that uh, he'd, had, uh, he'd have a hearing problem. So upon uh, several tests, we came to the conclusion that Daniel had a hearing loss, severe hearing loss, and that he was, uh, he required to have a cochlear implant. Um, it was a hard decision to, uh, to, to take. We are really looking forward to having the surgery done here in uh, Aga Khan and we expect that um, he will be able to hear and uh, will be able to progress like a normal child and uh, he'll be given a chance uh, at life and um, he'll be able to go to school and communicate with other kids and um, this is what you know any father would want for their son. The journey starts today by the surgery, will be followed by the mapping and the programming of the speech processor or the outer part by our colleagues from the audiology unit. After finishing the full mapping of the device, the speech therapy will start, which may last months or years. Seeing how he's, he's responding to the different sounds around him and uh, his reaction is, is truly an emotional and uh, magical experience. Um, I have to admit that I did uh, tear up a little bit, although I was trying to hold him back, but it's something that we've been waiting and anticipating for such a long time. The journey to come where he starts learning how to speak and being able to communicate with our son is is I cannot even describe uh, using the right words, but it's, it's everything I could ask for. The significance of this being the first surgery to be done at the Aga Khan Hospital is to increase confidence in doing these surgeries within the continent of Africa, and specifically within Sub-Saharan or Eastern Africa. A lot of patients in prior years have been going outside the country to do these surgeries. Going to India, going to Dubai, going to South Africa, the UK, the US. Uh, they have to stay there for a long time without their families. It's very costly and it's not home. We want these patients to be in an environment where they're comfortable, where they're assured of the best services, where all the faces are familiar faces and where they can do this within the comfort of their homes.